hello welcome back to the channel if you're just tuning in for the very first time my name is spencer and i do fashion videos and also travel vlogs i would like to take some time out to appreciate all my subscribers to appreciate the old ones and the new ones you guys are so amazing you guys are so lovely i thank you for the comments i thank you for the likes i thank you for the share and it's been amazing the very past few days so i want to say thank you keep sharing keep liking keep, keep commenting a few days back i uploaded a video on the channel that talks about my culture shock while i was in kenya this video had a lot of comments a lot of likes a lot of shares and a lot of new subscribers and mostly from kenya thank you all to all my kenyans who are following all those who are subscribing i say thank you so much for the support thank you for the love so i want to take some time uh, to go through your comments because while reading your comments and replying to some of them i got to learn a lot from you guys i got to learn a lot from kenyan community truth is that life is about us learning every day you only stop learning when you die so i went through the comments they were so amazing i had to learn a lot i just can't go through all the comments but there's a comment or there are some comments that really got me thinking and i just want to come back to say kenya you guys have opened my eyes because i talked in my video the last video about um, mobile money what you guys call kenyans call it pesa so i was surprised while i was there on how advanced the pesa system it it is compared to my country yes in my country cameroon we have mobile money we call it mobile money or in other words momo you guys call it impesa we call it momo yeah because we have uh, two uh, telecommunication companies that basically use that the um, mtn which just is called momo and orange which is also called uh, om orange money om but for you guys is impesa so when i looked at the comments the comments were like some people were like Kenya was the, there was the first country that uh, started um, um, mobile money. Uh, it's advanced. So I was like, it got me thinking. So I had to go to Google because I like learning. I like to know new things. I like uh, understanding uh, things. So I had to go to the internet and I discovered that it's true. Kenyans are not, they are not joking. They actually invented this mobile money thing. The mobile money thing we are using around the world today, or especially in Africa or in my country, was invented by Kenyans. I have never thought of it that way. I had never even think of who invented this thing because I just woke up one day and the, our, mob, our mobile telecommunication company just said there's something that is called mobile money. We are still using it. And I bet you 99% of, of, of Cameroonians or 99% of people who even use it out of Kenya do not even know that it was Kenya who started mobile money. So I just want to say thumbs up to Kenya because they have changed the dynamics of transferring money they have changed the dynamic so when I went online I tried to understand why uh, the idea or how the guy even came up with the idea it was amazing to me how things are being built how um, inventions are being created I discovered that Kenya uh, is credited with inventing mobile money transfer right back in 2007 and it was created by one Kenyan guy and I got to understand that the idea of M-Pesa or mobile uh, money because the same pesa is his Swahili, Swahili word which means money so M means for mobile and M-Pesa which is Swahili from what I understood also from my comments from the comments in my comment section that M-Pesa means uh, money they said this idea of M-Pesa came from one from one Yangaka and you Ayona then that's the name I think uh, he noticed that people already use their mobile phones to buy credit to when they want to make calls and he, he, he came up with this brilliant idea that people in those days who want to send money back even to the villages you have to use probably the post you put in the envelope you send back to the to, to the to give to the post and the post will take days and the insecurity you know of sending money along uh, along the road you might be uh, you might be attacked by thieves things like that so he came up with the idea of creating pesa which to me was a, it's a brilliant idea i had no idea about that and i'm so grateful that today or oh, uh, this week i got to understand something i got to learn that africans are not actually sleeping the africans are giants in thinking we just need to be inspired by 
our environment. We need to be inspired in order to change our dynamics, in order to change the things we, 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 we believe in. This guy came out with this idea because he believed that this mobile money thing or the better stuff could change. And trust me, his invention has changed a lot of. I sitting here in Cameroon, I use my money every blessed day. Yes, Cameroon is not as advanced in the cashless society like uh, Kenya, because while in Kenya, quite, you guys have gone so far. But I'm not in doubt anymore. I'm not in doubt anymore because you created it. Kenyans, you created it. So for sure, you must have used it for 2017 now. That's like um, uh, 17 years. Compared to my country, I think we've been using um, uh, mobile money for just about 15 years now. People still don't really trust it. People are still getting to trust it. Uh, people are still um, skeptical about it. But you guys are way advanced. You guys are really advanced with it. So that's why you could easily go cashless and prosper with it. So this video is not going to be short. I don't want to say my Kenyan community, thank you so much. I've learned something from you today. I've learned something from you this week. And let's keep, keep commenting so that we learn from each other. Over time, I'm going to upload videos in my country to show you guys how Cameroon is. I know even on the comment section, I talked about Kenyans drive way better than my country. And people are like, ah, they wonder what those people are doing in Cameroon. What are they even driving? Trust me, one day I'm going to do that the video for you. You'll see. Some people say, ah, maybe in, in Nairobi, I didn't Nairobi drive crazily. I didn't see Nairobi very well. Yes, you can only compare two things. I have compared that in my country and I've compared that in Kenya. So if you're a Kenyan, you say you guys don't drive good as I think. I won't argue with you, but I'm saying it out of what I've compared. I've compared two things, and the driving is day and night. So, thank you so much. Like I said, it's going to be a very short video. Thank you so much. Keep commenting, keep liking, and keep sharing. Let us build this community together. And one Africa, one people. I love Kenya. Kenya to me right now is like my second home. So, I am very sure next year I'll be in Kenya again and for a longer time. Till then, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and let us build this community together. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.